This is Ling270, Language, Technology, and Society. We now continue our examination of writing as a language technology, specifically looking at the Voyager Golden Record as a prime example of attempts to communicate using a writing system symbols that are not conventional. We have previously established that writing as a technology consists of a system of symbols. Convention is used to assign meaning to the symbols in the writing system, and each symbol in the writing system represents an element of language. We now ask, to what extent is it possible to skip these last two steps? Can we have a system of symbols that conveys meaning without convention? Can we have meaningful symbols without pre-established human conventions? We're discussing this in the context of NASA's Voyager program. In the fall of 1977, NASA launched two space probes, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. The Voyager spacecraft were sent on missions to explore the far reaches of our solar system. During the course of their respective missions, these two spacecraft sent the first close-up pictures of the outer gas giant planets. In their extended mission, the Voyager spacecraft have reached beyond the outermost boundary of our sun's influence. In the 2010s, each Voyager spacecraft entered interstellar space. And since then, they have been sending back the first direct measurements ever recorded of space beyond our solar system. When NASA sent the Voyager probes, their primary mission was to explore the outer limits of our solar system, with a secondary mission to explore beyond the solar system. However, there is always the chance, albeit distant, that an alien civilization could someday encounter one or the other of the Voyager spacecraft. In case of such a possibility, the NASA organizers put together a record, a golden record, full of sounds and pictures of Earth. On the left, you see here the golden record. The sounds of Earth, a various collection of sounds, are encoded in analog form on this record. Various pictures depicting scenes of Earth are also depicted in analog form on the record. If an alien civilization were to encounter the record, the challenge then is how would the aliens know how to access the information on the record? To this end, NASA put together an instruction manual. What you see here on the right is the cover for the golden record. On the cover, you see etched a series of pictographic symbols. These symbols, in totality, are intended to be a guidepost so that an advanced civilization could have some hope of deciphering how to extract the sounds and images on the record. I want you to take a moment and look closely at this image. We have several parts to it, and over the course of the next few minutes, I'm going to ask you to pause the video and do your best, one image at a time, to determine what you think the image represents, what information you think the image is depicting.
Let's start with the image in the upper left. I want you to pause the video, get out a pen and paper, and write down in a sentence or two or three what information you think this picture is encoding. Next, we'll move on to the second image on the left. I'd like you to do the same for this image. Take a few moments, think what this image could represent, and write down your best guess. Here is our third image, the third image on the lower left corner of the, of the record cover. Pause the video and see if you can think what possible information could be encoded in this image. Next, we're going to move on to the images on the right side of the cover. This is the uppermost of those images. Take a few moments, pause the video, and write down your explanation of what you think this image might depict. We now have this image, this, the middle image on the right of the record cover. Take a moment, examine this image, and do your best to figure out what information could be encoded here. I'm telling you that there is important information here. I'm also telling you that this information in total tells you how to play the record and how to get the sounds and images off of the record. We're almost done. This is the next image in the sequence on the record. Think through and write down your best guess as to what is going on on this picture. This one's next. And finally, this one. This is the last image on the record cover. Take a moment, pause the video, and write down your best guess as to what this is, what this symbolizes. Here are all of the images again, put together in context. I want you to pause the video and do your best to put together a coherent story from these images. What are these images trying to convey? Now let's ask the question. You've just done this work. Do you think that aliens from an advanced civilization have a chance of understanding the symbols encoded on the golden record cover. Let's look at some of the assumptions that we are making. In order to understand what's going on here, we assume that the aliens have some visual recognition capacity. That is, they can see in a way not terribly dissimilar from the way we can see. We're assuming that the aliens can visualize this two-dimensional image and recognize three-dimensional objects that are on the Voyager spacecraft. 
So here we have a stylus that is meant to be used to play the record. The stylus is included on the Voyager spacecraft alongside the golden record. We have here the golden record itself. And so we're assuming, and in order for an alien to understand what's going on here, they would need to recognize that this is a visual depiction of the stylus and the record from the spacecraft. And likewise, the second image is a side view of the stylus and the record. Let's now skip to the image on the lower right, because this is critical for understanding what's going on in all of the rest of the images. This image involves an understanding of the subatomic physics of a hydrogen atom. So in order to understand and extract information here, we would need a shared understanding on the part of the aliens of chemistry and subatomic physics. So they would need to have an advanced level of understanding in those fields to be able to take their own understanding of physics and posit that we have a shared knowledge and are depicting something going on in the subatomic realm. This gives a time mechanism that is then used in later images. The image on the lower left is a you are here guide to our solar system. This requires a shared understanding of astronomy. The image on the upper right is a waveform. So a recognition of a visual depiction of a waveform that you would get when you play the record. So someone trying to understand what's going on would need to recognize that this is a visual depiction of a waveform. In almost all of the images shown here, there are binary numbers. So the dashes and vertical bars represent ones and zeros, a binary encoding of various numbers, including the speed at which the record needs to be turned, and so on. This requires a recognition of computer science and the fact that numbers can be encoded in binary, and a recognition that the properties of the hydrogen atom are providing the base unit of time that are then referenced in the subsequent binary encodings of numbers. This image of a rectangle with a circle is the calibration image that would be viewed if the visual encoded images are decoded correctly. So if you decode the images correctly, this should be the first image that you see. This is NASA's description, their explanation of the various mechanisms and pictures on the recording cover diagram. I encourage you to take your time and compare the results of your predictions to the descriptions shown here. This, as we've seen, is an extremely challenging problem. And this is probably the biggest attempt to try to use symbols to convey meaning without predefined convention. As you can see, it's very, very difficult.